Buenas noches one again, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to your Day of the Dead. I'm Patrick Harris with Riverwalk Fort Lauderdale. Welcome to beautiful downtown Fort Lauderdale here in the Riverwalk District. Are you ready for some great music, some great performances, and a great little procession over to the Entertainment District? Much better. We're so happy to have you in downtown with us. This evening, it's my pleasure to introduce two people. First, let me introduce to you Lee Fellman, our city manager. And secondly, I'd like to introduce you to Dean Trentalis, our city commissioner, who will lead off this processional with us. And I believe Dean has a proclamation for the Day of the Dead. Thank you, Genia. Hello, everybody! Welcome to the Day of the Dead, Dia de los Muertos. Welcome to Fort Lauderdale. Thank you so much for coming tonight. What does tonight mean for everybody? Tonight is about diversity, embracing cultural diversity, understanding how the lives of other people are carried out and how enriching it is to be inclusive of other cultures here in Fort Lauderdale. Isn't this a great night for everybody? Thank you so much, and we're very honored tonight, very honored, to have with us the Council General from Mexico and his lovely wife, who I'm going to present in just a moment, a proclamation from the city of Fort Lauderdale. The reason why this is important is because it shows the recognition that the country of Mexico sees and is able to visually experience how important Fort Lauderdale is in terms of cultural diversity. Nowhere in Florida does this take place on such a scale. Right? Give yourselves a round of applause. This is a this is a not just a symbolic event, but it is a cultural icon, which I want to say that we all have to thank its originator, its leader, its producer, the person who's making all this happen, Jim Hammond. Jim, where are you? Jim, Jim, stop talking, come over here, stand up. This is the man, this is the man who's put this all together. Jim, say a few words. Uh, I, I don't even know where to start, Dean. Um, first off, we well, didn't think, say how wonderful I am. <laughs> <laughs> you and the city of Fort Lauderdale yeah. are wonderful, Dean. Thank you. Um, the uh, the reason why we're here is for the celebration, but 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 the real celebration is remembering those who we've lost and the importance of the beautiful culture of Mexico and throughout Latin America. This is important to everyone. This is important to each and every one of us. I thank you for being here, for making this special, and Dean, I'm going to turn it back over to you. Sir, I have a proclamation, which I'm not going to read the whole thing, so don't worry about it. Um, but I do want to uh, thank you so much for being here tonight. Uh, you and your lovely wife, thank you so much. Please step forward. And um, I just want to read this proclamation from the office of the mayor of the city of Fort Lauderdale. Whereas on Monday, today, November 2nd, is the sixth annual Florida Day of the Dead celebration to be held on Fort Lauderdale's beautiful river walk throughout the city as an official signature event of our city here. And the Day of the Dead celebration, the Dia de los Muertos, merges ancient Aztec and other indigenous people's traditions from the Americas with the Christian remembrances of All Souls Day, which is to celebrate the lives of the dead and the richness of Latin American culture and its influence on the residents here in Fort Lauderdale and throughout South Florida. The city of Fort Lauderdale welcomes Jose Antonio Zambagiota, ah, the Council General of Mexico and Miami, and recognizes the richness and importance of the culture of Mexico, including festivals such as this. Now, therefore, we as the City Commission of the City of Fort Lauderdale do hereby proclaim today, November 2nd, as Florida Day of the Dead celebration, signed by our Mayor John P. Jack Seiler. Let's hear it for the, for the Council General and his wife. Who said that culture needs to be boring? Culture can be fun like you are proving tonight. And something like 
that, that makes us Mexicans very proud is our culture. And when we see that someone like Jim Hammond that went to Mexico, witnessed this in its original fashion, and then decided that it was a good idea to export it to Fort Lauderdale, to Florida, and to bring it over, and see you all participate in that, it's a fantastic experience, and it makes us really proud that Mexico can also be part of you tonight. Thank you, Council General. And it isn't often that we have an opportunity to welcome to our city people who are so significant to the South Florida tradition and the South Florida uh, scene. And Fort Lauderdale has a lot of wonderful people who come to see us, but only once in a while do we share a, a token of our appreciation with, uh, with someone like the Council General and his wife. So, on behalf of the City of Fort Lauderdale, the Mayor, the City Commission, the Riverwalk Trust, Jeannie Ellis, Patrick, the City Manager, Lee Feldman, and all the people that live and work and play and seek out a career, build a family, and make Fort Lauderdale their home, we have for you a key to our city, which we present to you with humility, and I'm honored to be able to present this to you because I feel it's so important that you feel that Fort Lauderdale can be your home as well. So thank you so much. Thank you very much to all of you. Thank you very much to Fort Lauderdale and really to Lucia and me. This is a very significant occasion and we, we really certainly feel at home, not only tonight, but every day. Great, thank you all once again. And to get us ready for the walk of the Day of the Dead. I want to introduce Danza Azteca. To the east, for all of those ancestors of ours who have died fighting for our liberty. who have died fighting for our equality. for all people. Musicians who are in the crowd, we need you here up on the stage so we can get rolling. Gino! 
I'll wave at the camera. There you go.